Hello everyone. Welcome to today's session of interactive reading. Hello everyone. In today's session, we are going to dive deep into the beautiful and colorful world of the underground oceans. Dive is the title of today's session and it has been written by Rajiv Aipe and he is the illustrator as well. And the publisher of this book is Pratham Books. Blue skies and calm waters. A perfect day for diving. We set out in a little boat hoping for a big adventure. This is the small boat. You can see two of the divers. What is diving? You go deep under the ocean to see what lays underneath. Beautiful fish, very colorful, colorful coral, and whatever is there underneath. Let's see what they see, what these divers are going to see. When we reached the dive site, we carefully checked all our equipment and put on our fins and masks. See, these two are the divers. They have their fins, masks, and oxygen cylinder. You need oxygen cylinder to breathe under the water. As soon as we were underwater, we were greeted by a school of yellowback fusiliers. See the two divers with their fins and masks? And around them is a group of fish. Group of fish is called a school of fish. And these fish with their yellow back, their fins are yellow in color. They are called yellow back fusiliers. There were so many different creatures to see around this large table coral. Oriental sweet lips, parrotfish, batfish, and even a beautifully patterned nudie branch. Look at all the colorful fish here. Here is the oriental sweet lips, and this is called a parrotfish. Look at the colors. It's green and red like a parrot. So they're called a parrotfish. This is a batfish. And this is the beautifully patterned nudie branch. This trumpet fish changed color to try and blend in with a school of yellow tang. But you can speak him out easily enough, can't you? Look, this is our trumpet fish. He looks like a trumpet. Trumpet that you blow and that gives out music. He looks like a trumpet. So he's called a trumpet fish. And look what he has done. He has changed his color to match with what is around him. A group of or school of yellow tang. They're yellow in color and he has made himself yellow. He changed his color. But we can easily spot him out though, can't we? His shape is very different from the yellow tanks. It is a good thing we kept a safe distance from this lionfish. The spines on his back can be quite poisonous. Oh, it's a fierce looking lionfish. He's not just fierce looking. Is very dangerous too. Look at all the spines here. These are very poisonous. So the divers are staying away from the lionfish. These clownfish carefully guarded their sea anemone home, but finally agreed to let me take a few pictures. These are the clownfish. And this is their sea anemone home. And the divers are coming in close by to take a picture. 
we saw a honeycomb moray eel having its teeth cleaned by cleaner rasses. And another pair even offered to give us a scrub. This is the moray eel. Look at the spots. It looks like a honeycomb. So it's called a honeycomb moray eel. Look at these two small fish. They are called the cleaner rasses. They go inside the mouth of the eel and clean its mouth. And this is another pair coming close to the divers to see if the divers need their services. There were trigger fish and sea urchins. We even saw a coral grouper and a reef octopus playing hide and seek. Can we see? This is the trigger fish. And these spiny ones are the sea urchins. And this is a coral grouper. Look at its color. It looks like a coral. It's a coral grouper. And who is playing hide and seek here? It's the octopus. Octopus has eight arms. So it's called an octopus. The octopus won the game. They are masters of disguise. Pipefish are great at disguise too. Can you spot the two ghost pipefish in this picture? Yes, you are correct. These two are the two ghost pipefish. Pipefish look like pipe. And the ghost pipefish has a few more extensions looking like a ghost. We came across a couple of white tip reef sharks resting near the bottom. They're pretty harmless, so we swam in for a closer look. Look at these two sharks. But these are not very dangerous. Look at the tips, they are white. So they are called white tip reef sharks. The divers come close by to take a picture. We followed this hawksbill turtle for a while as he looked around the reef for a nice sea sponge to lunch on. Look at the hawksbill turtle. He's looking around to see mm, what looks yummy for today's lunch. As we made our way back to the boat, we were thrilled to see a manta ray flying through the water with two remora fish in tow. Look at this huge fish. Look at the fins. It looks like the manta ray is flying in the water. The fins are so large and it flaps in the water that it looks like it is flying. These two are the remora fish on top of the manta ray. And just when we thought this dive couldn't possibly get any better, we sighted a dugong grazing on some seagrass. Look at this creature. It's very different from all the other creatures we have seen. This is called a dugong. It is feasting on the grass that is found under the, under the ocean. What an incredible experience. I can't wait to go diving again. The two divers are very happy about their dive. They're extremely happy about it. I really enjoyed this story. Did you guys like it? Let us now know more about some of the names that we saw in today's story. Corals. Corals are both plants and animals. Thousands of little algae live inside corals and give them energy to grow. They have hard outer skeletons and grow into many different shapes. Plankton. Plankton is the main source of food for many sea creatures. They are a mix of algae, bacteria, 
tiny animals and the eggs and larvae of larger animals that float about with the ocean currents. Feather stars. These may look like plants, but they are really animals. They use their feather-like arms to catch and eat bits of floating plankton. Look at the corals here, they come in different shapes. Corals are usually used by humans to make some jewelry. This is the plankton, which is the main source of food for a lot of the sea creatures we saw. And look at this, this looks like a plant, right? This is an animal called the feather stars. Parrotfish have strong teeth that form a parrot-like beak, which they use to scrape algae off hard coral. Some species don't mind eating bits of coral as well. And they later poop out a fine sand that washes up on land to form beautiful white beaches. Clownfish and sea anemones live together and help each other. The clownfish helps the anemones by cleaning their tentacles and luring other fish for the anemone to eat. The anemones in turn allow the clownfish to hide among their poisonous tentacles without stinging them. Cleaner wrasses. These are small fish that keep bigger fish clean by feeding on their parasites and dead skin. The bigger fish recognize the wrasses by their colors and the dance-like way they move. This is the parrotfish. These are the clownfish sitting on top of the sea anemone, which becomes their home. The sea anemone helps the clownfish by not stinging them and providing a home for them, while the clownfish helps cleaning the tentacles of the sea anemones and helps in attracting other fish that the anemone can eat. These are the cleaner wrasses. The reef octopus can hide by changing its color and texture. It makes its home in holes in the reef or buries itself in the sand. Ghost pipefish can be found in pairs, floating with their heads down and hidden among seagrass, corals or feather stars. Like the reef octopus, they can change color to blend in perfectly. The white tip reef shark has a thin body, broad head and white tips on its dorsal and tail fin. They hunt at night and sleep through most of the day. The hawksbill turtle has a flat body, a shell with jagged edges and a sharp curving mouth that looks like a hawk's beak. Manta rays are huge fish with wing-like fins on the sides of their bodies. These large fins help them swim gracefully through the water. On some manta rays, the distance from one wingtip to the other can reach up to 23 feet. The dugong is a vegetarian marine mammal. Its favorite food is seagrass, which it is able to graze on with its specially shaped snout. Dugongs are also called sea cows. The dugongs eat grass like the cows that we see, but it is under the ocean or in the sea, so they are called sea cows. Like I said before, I really enjoyed and learned a lot about these beautiful, colorful sea creatures. I hope you guys enjoyed it too.